Well, now here to discuss this are Roland Rudd, Chairman of Business for New Europe, the UK Independence Party MEP Marta Andreessen, and Luis Garicano, Professor of Economics and Strategy at the LSE. Would you say, it seems, doesn't it, that this strategy appears to be working so far? I think it is working. It was an extraordinary decision by Mario Draghi to say he would do whatever it takes in terms of buying bonds from European governments, and it was a brave decision. And of course, the governments actually have to ask for it. And the big thing with Rajoy, although I think some things he's doing are right, he needs to show a greater sense of urgency. And one of the things he could do is by asking right now for that bailout, which I think is needed. Can it last? I don't think so. I think it's a short term solution and uh, in the end when the conditions for this bailout are laid out the Spanish government will have to face reality and the people will react to this. I don't think this bailouts will solve the problem you know I think the European Union is part of the problem <clears throat> and the European Union is not going to bring the situation the solution for this situation I think uh, you know it, they need to think uh, differently. Just before we talk about Spain, uh, the Germans, the, I mean the head of the Bundesbank was saying the other day that this was like something out of Faust. I mean they're really, really worried, aren't they? I mean they Quite are so. they have two minds. This solution allows them not to actually pay but to find another way to pay. Well, well as, as long same, as the bluff works. Yeah, I mean the, the problem is exactly the problem is if you are not supporting the solution it's not really credible and at the end it might just fall apart so it needs for it to work it needs real strong support and for people to believe that this can actually be implemented is, isn't there a, a logical inconsistency in all of this i mean how can you promise to do whatever it takes to keep every country within the euro and at the same time say there are going to be conditions for any kind of bailout. I mean, well, of course, it, 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 no, you're right in the sense of who's <laughs> going to actually blink first, and that's, when he, that's going to be one of the big things in, in, in the whole of this bailout. But I think, I think Mario Draghi's made it very clear that what, it's sort of irreversible. Once you actually ask for the help, you get the help, you're going to have to embark on the structural reform. And I think by the sort of sense of momentum that will take those countries through that will be helpful. And you're seeing the structural reform actually happen already in Spain and in Greece. It's just that we need more of it and with more sense of urgency. Do you get the feeling that the, 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 the Spaniards will accept the conditions? I mean, the, the government is hesitating too long. I mean, I think they really need to step forward and ask. And, and it's better to ask now when the situation is relatively calm mm. than to wait for the next panic and then suddenly on a Friday night say, well, we are desperate. Then the Dutch and the Germans and all the rest are going to just come piling on with extra conditions, like happened with the rescue. The banking At the rescue, end of the day, the banking it's, rescue it's, was supposed to be a, just a banking rescue and then all the going conditions. going to print money. I mean, it's about printing money to uh, sort out the situation and to keep the Eurozone going. I mean, it would be much better to allow these countries that do not really uh, have the, their economies are at the level that they should be, to allow them to leave the Eurozone and the value and default. But they don't because want this to leave the Eurozone. To printing money they don't want to. This country has they been doing. They don't want to leave. No, no. Well, listen, printing money for the UK and Spain, the US when have the been Euro, doing. When the Euro was introduced, the Spanish people were mad with, because a coffee was worth one peseta. And it, the following day, it was worth one euro. You mean that was one. This is a very cheap one, coffee. Yeah, that well, would be a cheap coffee. One hundred pesetas, and the following day, it was one hundred and sixty-six pesetas. Yeah. Okay, and the people were not happy at all. Then, of course, the European Union so, comes, injects their okay. structural funds, all the funding, and the people are happy with this. But for the importance of doubt, you think uh, Spain would be better off out of the euro i i think that so not only Europe spain not only euro. spain yeah. but you know many of the uh, countries in the southern part of europe that do not have the what level about okay well what about the alternative that's being canvassed which is this you know, fast progress towards fiscal union and all sorts of other institutions which make it impossible 
for that sort of thing to the, happen. The key, thing is that the key thing is the banking union. I mean, basically what has been happening now is this vicious loop between the banks of the country get weak, yeah. then the state, which is backing the banks, gets also weakened, and then yeah. the banks will have indeed the bonds. Around, which is exactly. why you need it. So you, you can't have a bad government pulling down a good bank or a bad bank pulling exactly. down a bad government. Exactly. And so that's why will. you need banking union, which so is going to happen. Union is it's going to happen. Fiscal union... Uh, you only need a minimum amount of fiscal union to get through this. You don't need euro bonds, you don't need all this, all this the structure that people the are coming up. The essence of the banking union is a European de uh, deposit insurance. The European deposit insurance, a and European regulator and no, the a resolution the essence, authority. The, the essence things. is the deposit no, no. insurance. And this has not been agreed by Germany. No, sure. And I don't think that Germany is ever going to agree to this deposit insurance. So this banking union is a dream of Mr. Barroso. That's all. I mean, no. to I'm implement, afraid, to implement not. the banking union... I'm afraid union. you're going to be well, very upset. Then. There's never been any kind of upset. dreams among the European political class, has there? The difficulty has been when they choose to act them out. Exactly. Exactly. I, I mean, mean, they come up and the, the Commission has been drawing policies and proposals for the last decade. And they have injected have money and this money ago, has been wasted. Things that two Nothing years ago, has happened. I mean, <laughs> this gigantic thing. Let happened. them get a word in. Things, <laughs> things that two years ago would have been considered inconceivable have happened. I mean, this thing that you find so weird that Draghi did, this is acting like any grown-up central bank. Listen, like the, like like say the a crisis. Huh? He saved a crisis. I mean, that, we would have had a huge one thing financial crisis in he July. Has, he has saved done. the crisis. He yes. certainly he did. But yes. He has postponed the crisis. Exactly. That's the key point. Has he postponed the crisis? No, or has he no, 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 because, he's nixed it, flattened it? No, because you can already see big changes taking place in Spain. There have been proper labour reforms. It no is easier to hire and fire. Oh, yes, there are. There are greater variations of pay in Spain. The fact is, we need. he needs to do more, and the best thing Rajoy could do is actually ask for the help. So I think the comparison now. between the UK and Spain is the very useful. The, just a second. The comparison between the UK and Spain is very useful. The UK had a worst problem in the financial sector. The reason the financial sector didn't drag the state is because you have a central bank that can back the banks with pounds. Yeah. Spain didn't have that. It's the state which is backing the pounds, and the state is being dragged down by the banks. What, what, if you what, have what, a central bank now, willing one to other act, comparison. One other comparison is with, can I just make this point? So once you have a central bank, bank is with the bailout. Is, with the, is, is actually in the UK, we had a really effective bailout of the banks, and it was done once and for all, and with a really good recapitalization. You look at Spain, you've had four attempts with Bankia, and, and that's why you need something like the European Stability Mechanism, where actually you get, a, you get an independent institution that actually, actually recapitalizes a bank, not going through no. the sovereign right. nation. Okay, that's exactly. the wrong... Right. Bankia should have I been want closed to ask down. You a, I want to ask you a very simple and rather trivial question. Okay. These two clearly think this is going to work. What's your prediction? No, I, for I, well, you've got reservations, but there are a lot of things that need to be done. But you think I'm more of an optimist. Um, what's your prediction for 18 months' time? How many countries will still be in the euro? Well, I think I know the EU from the bottom of yeah. my heart. So I, need, I no know one, that no they will drag it. on and on and on. Yeah. They come will on, drag come on. on. What's the answer? Well, the answer is that I think that Greece is going to leave in the so near future. So down to 16, yeah, and then... And Spain will follow, but Spain will take some time because Spain will be the end of the, Euro, the, of the Eurozone. If okay. Spain leaves, right. it will be the end of the okay. Eurozone. And I am sure, no such luck. And right. I'm sure that the Commission will do we'll have all, 17 then. all that right. is okay. possible to say. Thank you all this. very much. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that's all for news night tonight. Uh, more tomorrow. Until then, good night.